<laughs> God's his face. Ah, <laughs> ah, poor Jambo. Although, honestly, I really don't feel that bad. He had it coming and all. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't the one who hit him now, was I? Or, I guess, kicked. He's going to be sporting a bruise on his shin for quite a while after that one. <laughs> hmm. The dousing him in water was a nice touch. Where were you even hiding that bottle anyways? Ah, uh, right. The bag. I'd nearly forgotten. Hmm. Well, now that Jambo's all taken care of, shall we go? We're losing daylight, you know. is about where we need to be this stretch of woods that's just something about it well every time I come foraging out here I can always find exactly what I need regardless of season which is odd considering I shouldn't be finding summer herbs in the dead of winter hmm maybe I mean if there's some sort of old magic in this forest, it'd make sense. Can't you just feel the presence? It's like something ancient and all-knowing. Just listen for a moment. Do you feel it? The way the forest seems to fold you in. It's comforting, in a way. Like the forest knows exactly what you need. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a security blanket. That's a good comparison. I spend a lot of time out here by myself. I've never actually brought someone with me before. Well, I try to forage for as many things as I can. Buying them from the apothecary or the supermarket, it just isn't the same. Mm -hmm. Well, with the rise in demand for potions, charms and talismans, I'm not surprised that there's a market for potions ingredients out there. Yeah, it's a bit weird, you know. I mean, even just a decade ago, this sort of stuff was completely frowned upon. As a kid, I was told to hide all this stuff. For obvious reasons, of course. But, uh, well, you know, since it's more profitable now... <laughs> yeah. Capitalist magic. Sickening, isn't it? I mean, mass production of simple potions, selling them for way more than they're worth. It's the antithesis of what it should be like. <sighs> Potion makers like me aren't that common, you know. But it just feels wrong that they would betray that and sell out to a corporation that's just milking them for profit. Plus, now that some of these potions are so easily accessible, it's a little concerning. Yeah. People like Jambo can just get a love potion. And honestly, the next person to ask me for one is going to get a love potion, all right. It'll just be in the form of me pouring it down their throat instead. <laughs> You're right. You're right, I wouldn't actually do that. I'd just strongly consider it. <sighs> right. Well, I guess we should get started, huh? <clears throat> I've got a few things here I want to collect. Some are for potions, but others are just for me. Well, yeah. It's not like you can just go and get a good quality beefsteak fungus from the market. Much better to get it yourself. 
<laughs> Don't laugh at me. I didn't name it. That's just what it's called. Gods. You are something else. <laughs> but yes. Sometimes I come out here and get some herbs and things for myself. You know, wild garlic. Chicken in the woods. Yes, beef steak fungus. Sweet chestnuts. Those sorts of things. Mm-hmm. Plenty of edible stuff out there. Just be careful, all right? Sometimes there are false friends. Poisonous mushrooms that look exactly like an edible kind. Berries nearly indistinguishable from their poisonous cousins. Never ingest anything if you're not absolutely certain it isn't harmful, yeah? And please, don't be afraid to ask if you're not sure. Better to play it safe and go a little hungry than pick the wrong thing and... Well die, yeah? What else? Oh, right, the list. <laughs> well, let me see. Uh, yarrow, mugwort, hazel, elderberries, chickweed, and cow parsley. That's it for the herbs. For mushrooms, we need medusa fungus, honey fungus, and jelly ear. You have that bag still, right? Perfect. Oh, nearly forgot. Here, take my little notebook. Should uh, help you identify what you're looking for. <sighs> yeah, I did draw those. I tried to be as exact as possible, so... Huh? You... Really? I mean... <laughs> They're just sketches. <laughs> Nothing that special. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like them. I hope they help. <sighs> Cuz you're really sweet, you know that? I mean, seriously, you're just... wonderful. Uh, is this too much? Feels like too much. I'm sorry. Is it? Are you sure it's fine? I mean, this is all so new, and I don't want to overwhelm you. Yeah. Okay. I believe you. <clears throat> well, uh, should we, um, you know, get to foraging? Yeah? All right. I'll start over here, then. Oh, and, uh, can you let me know if you find any lily of the valley? No, I don't need it for anything specific. I just, uh, I just like the way it smells. And it's pretty, too. Thought it'd be nice to have a couple in a vase in the lab. All right. Be careful, okay? Try not to fall into any thistle or poison oak. That's never fun, and, uh... I think I'm short on calamine lotion. I don't know what you're insinuating. Of course I haven't dripped into a patch of poison oak. I'm offended you would even think that. I'm not that clumsy. <laughs> Just get to gathering already. We're wasting valuable time, you know. I thought it was supposed to be clear all evening. That's weird. Uh, it's probably nothing. Just feels like there's going to be a storm rolling in soon. We should probably hurry. Oh, wow. Look at all of that. That is a huge cluster of medusa fungi you found. Incredible. That's just what I've been needing for that health potion I was telling you about. You remember the minor health potion for hay fever and stuff like that? This'll be perfect. Pairing that with all the elderberries I found, we'll never be sick again. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking. While they might be pretty effective, potions and charms can't replace the human immune system. Magic can only go so far against nature. Much more effective when nature and magic work in tandem. Yeah, I'll help you gather those up. 
We really need to hurry now. It's rolling in faster than I thought. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's just... you got a bit of dirt on your nose. It's cute. Here, I've uh, got a handkerchief around here. Somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. I really can't get over how cute you are. It's like a dream, really. It's hard to believe that after all this time I spent liking you, you'd actually like me back. Uh, I really got lucky, huh? Ah, uh, uh, shit. Uh, come on. This way. You alright? Try not to trip on any roots or anything. We're nearly... Ooh, boy. Let's just uh, take cover under this tree. You okay? God, you're soaked. You've gotten all muddy. <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really had no idea it was meant to rain. This was just supposed to be a cute, albeit practical, date for the two of us. I really screwed this one up. No, it's not all right. I mean, you're soaked through. You're covered in mud and you're shivering. God, you, you must be freezing. Here, just... Here, take my sweater. It's a bit damp, but should work well enough. Let me take that bag for you as well so you can put this on. Is that any better? I mean, it's not the warmest, but I hope it keeps the water off okay. I just don't want you to be freezing cold on top of being drenched. God, I'm so, so sorry. I really am. I mean, we're wet and filthy and cramped together under a willow tree in the rain with barely enough room to breathe that... Do you have enough room? I'm not too close, am I? No? You sure? I mean, if you want, I can try and move out of your way a bit. <gasps> your hands are so cold. Why didn't you say anything? Closer. Are you sure? I mean, we're already pretty... against me like this. I just don't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, we're close friends, and, well, we both like each other, but I just don't want to move too fast or rush things and scare you off. I mean, it's already enough of a miracle that you would like me, of all people. What do you mean, no, it isn't? I've had these feelings for years, and it never seemed remotely possible that they'd be reciprocated. Uh, yeah, I guess we've held hands before. It's just a nice thing to do, right? I mean, with friends and such, it can be comforting. Like when we were walking through the dark to get home that one time. The cuddling? Well, I mean, it's normal to cuddle your friends, isn't it? We do it all the time, right? During movie nights and when you stay the night and the like. <laughs> I just thought the forehead kisses were you being sweet. I think that's when I was sick, wasn't it? I don't really remember much about that time besides you letting me lay in your lap while you played with my hair. I don't know. I, I thought it was all just friendly intimacy. It never would have crossed my mind that it wasn't. We were such close friends, and I wouldn't dare assume. <laughs> hey, come on, don't laugh at me. <laughs> now you're just being mean. You can't seriously tell me that you thought that was me flirting. <laughs> well, it wasn't. Not really, anyway. 
I mean, I'd like to think that if I was really flirting with you, I'd be a bit more forward about it. Uh, how would I? Uh, I mean, uh, well, and that's hardly fair. <laughs> no, you can't just put me on the spot like that. I'm at a disadvantage here. No, I'm... I'm sure... I'm sure I can think of something. Just... Give me a second. Uh, well, what would you suggest, then? If you're such an expert at flirting. Pin me? How do you... <sighs> oh. Uh, I... Uh, I see... So, what happens now? Well, you have me pinned against a tree out in the rain with no one else around after challenging me to make my flirting more obvious. Did you have a plan here? Or was this just you trying to tease me? Oh, so you do have a plan. And what might that... <sighs> I see. That was your plan. Huh. Teasing me so I'd get flustered and then taking what you want. There's more, huh? What might that be? What are you... Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you crazy? It's still pouring. I don't want to... Dancing? What? Here? Why? <laughs> you really are something else. Dancing in the rain. What is this? A romantic comedy? You're really serious about this, aren't you? Here, in the middle of the forest... In a storm? No, I'm not scared. That's stupid. I just... never really learned how to dance. Well, I never... I never had the need to. I'm not really one for events like that. Follow your lead, huh? Alright. Just... Don't be mad when I inevitably step on your toes. That's on you, not me. <sighs> Just don't say I didn't warn you. Right. So, how do we do this? My hand. Here? Is this alright? Well, I just don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything. Isn't that a reasonable concern? <laughs> Not when you love me. Huh. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I love you too. Alright. Okay, I'll stop stalling. Go ahead and lead me. I'll follow you anywhere. Whether that's to the ends of the earth, or to the steps of a song only you can hear. you for the dancing lesson. Now that the two of us are both soaked to the bone, do you think we should start heading back? Well, we have herbs and such to dry and store. They kind of need extra drying now. Not to mention, it is freezing out. Aren't you cold? You're not. What's wrong with you? How are you not cold right now? Uh, hey, don't call me a baby. Anyone will be called right now. Except you, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Idiot. 
We should still head back though. It's getting late and doesn't look as though this rain's going to be letting up anytime soon. <laughs> I don't mind the rain. Just when it's outside and I'm inside. I'm just looking forward to lighting a fire and making some hot chocolate and snuggling up with you under a blanket. Not to mention that the last thing I need right now is to come down with a cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. You won't be laughing when you're sick as well. Or when you have to take care of me. Because I'll be making you take care of me if I do get sick. Yeah, of course I will. It was your idea to dance in the rain like we're frogs in love or something. <sighs> okay. I'll admit that it was cute. But if I get sick, it's entirely your fault. Now, we should head back. What's that? <laughs> You've got to stop catching me off guard like that. Give me a better one. Give me time to prepare. No. Shall we go? I think we've got everything, haven't we? Good. Now let's get going. We need to get these hung up to dry. And... We need to dry off, too. <laughs> yes. I'll dry your hair for you. But only if you do mine. Good. It's a deal. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Looks like you might be nursing me back to health after all. <laughs> yes, I do love you. But that doesn't mean you're getting out of this one. Now let's get home and get out of these wet clothes. There's some hot stew in the slow cooker with my name on it. And if you're good, maybe I'll share. Come on then. <laughs>